I mean, it's awesome. Okay. Our, our sponsors are hooking us up. But this is a late edition mm. prize, and it's very, very, very cool. I don't know if you've seen it on Twitter. Uh, Nolan Smith just tweeted a photo of it. Hundreds and hundreds of jealous people watching Nolan Smith hold his newest addition to the man cave. Jay Lane. Uh, uh, Jay Lane. Made by Jay Lane on Twitter is going to uh, donate one of those signs, those cardinal LED signs. Perfect for a man oh, cave. Those are sweet. Absolutely awesome. Jay Lane, welcome to Middays with Marcus May. Did you just hang up on him? Let me call him right back. You just hung, you just up. hung up on him? You just hung up on I him? I didn't mean to. I hit the wrong button. You just hung up on him as I was introducing him. And he did it, Steve. You saw him do it, right? You saw Nikki go right over. We're sitting here bringing him on the show to talk about. I, I mean, Jay I had, Lane may or may not be giving a prize <laughs> back to the. He just decided that he didn't like his introduction, and he was just—he's done with us. He's like, I don't know who these guys are. I—I I, I just gave an awesome. I donated an awesome prize to the to the tournament bracket challenge, and Marcus Maven was giving me a. Full intro. All right, we got him now. Jay, I'm so sorry. Sweet <laughs> Jesus. <No. laughs> I'm glad Jay's I like, laughing. I was like, what did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Fat sausage figures hit the wrong button and hung up on you. I'm so welcome sorry. Back. Jay. Well, listen, well, welcome, Jay. First and foremost, uh, I wasn't kidding when I said uh, there's a lot of people who are obviously in envy of the new uh, um, sign. Uh, kind of, kind of, just tell us, you know, how did we get you to participate? What's the process behind the signs you make? Kind of, is it a passion? Is it, a, is it a hobby? You know, just kind of give us a back a backstory. Yeah, yeah. So it is. It is a woodworking is a passion of mine. It has been for a long time. And about four years ago, I was watching this uh, YouTube video about scroll saw art, and uh, that's what I do. I, everything I do is made by hand. It's cut on a scroll saw. And a scroll saw is just a kind of a tabletop tool with a blade that moves up and down really fast, and you push the wood through it, and you cut out all of the pieces. And uh, about four years ago, I, I, I just kind of started to do it. And one of my first projects was a cardinal head on a bourbon barrel head. I had a stack of bourbon barrel heads in my garage. Right. And I just kind of posted on Facebook and said, would anybody be interested in this? And one of my friends uh, – Bought one, and that kind of started me down this path. And, and uh, you know, it really took off during COVID. Um, I, I make all kinds of stuff, but I do, uh, I mean, UML is a lot of this, like most of what I do, mm. about half of what I do. And uh, I've gotten to meet so many people, and I, I've made stuff for pro teams. I've made for, like, for actual coaching staffs. So I've, I, as you all talk about Nolan, Nolan I mean, I, his wife bought the that LED sign from me. I, I sold stuff to the, you know, basketball football staff and it's just been one of the most positive cool things i've ever done and and uh nick reached out to me about participating with you guys and i thought it would be a, a fun little experiment so i'm i'm glad to be a part of it uh, okay well, well let me let me ask you this uh and this is just out of my own curiosity when you say handmade like hand sawed do you ever find it like hard to get rid of of something because it's like if i create something I don't know if I can just let go of it, you know, if you if you actually make it by hand. Does, does each item just have a special place in your heart? And could you recognize that was done by my hand? If you went to a random person's man cave, would you know that that was done by my own hand? Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I've probably made, I've probably sold about fifteen hundred pieces since I've been doing this, so I can I can instantly look at something. And as a matter of fact, I had there was a guy, somebody was selling one on Facebook Marketplace. And I at first thought somebody was ripping me off, but what it was was someone had been gifted it, and then they were selling it. Um, so, but, but yeah, to answer your question, I mean, we, my wife and I put a lot of time into these pieces, and sometimes, um, you know, it, when 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 I see the finished piece, I'm like, dang, I want to hold on to this. And uh, so, yeah, it's um, and, and I, I'll tell you, people really appreciate that things are handmade. I mean, they're willing to wait, and um, I, I just can't even explain how positive. It, it has been and just seeing the look on people's faces um and how happy they are i mean i that's as much of of this as anything do, do you have a particular challenge that you're looking forward to do next uh like like i said uh, do, do you like take requests and and hope that they're more challenging or just kind of want to get as many out to as many people as you can 
No, well, so I mean, we're not, you know, I mean, we the, the stuff we make takes time, so we're we're definitely. Um, I, I mean, I like challenges and I like doing cool logos. I mean, like like I mentioned earlier, I started off doing bourbon barrel heads, and I've kind of transitioned more into these LED signs. Mm. And so I have high school coaches reaching out to me. I have college coaches; they want to have something in their locker room or whatever. So um, I I love the challenge of trying, you know, new things and. Um, I, I appreciate making all of the U of L stuff and, 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 you know, some of the other teams I'm licensed with as well. But, um, I, I love just people bringing complex logos to me and, and especially ones that mean things like, like, like not too long ago, I did a, a logo for a submarine commander mm. that was coming back from the art, you know, from the military and, um, from being deployed and it, someone purchased a gift for him. And right. so that was a super complex thing. And, um, so yeah, I mean, I, I I love the challenge of doing different things, and and um, I'm always looking for the opportunity to to do to make some cool stuff that make people makes people happy. Okay, when you say people reach out to you, I want you to take your time and give a give a a, a long a descriptive way. Uh, do you have any online stores where people can browse the pictures? And how can people reach out to you? How can they place orders? Uh, uh, just put it out there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, my website is madebyjlane.com, and there's a link into my online store where you can see all of my UFL stuff. I'm also licensed with WKU and Bellerman. Uh, you, you all were talking about Twitter. I'm on all, pretty much all social media at Made by J Lane. You when, can DM when you me. say J, J A Y, or just J? Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. I'm sorry. It's J A Y. Mm -hmm. So M A D E B Y J A Y L A N E dot com. Or um, well, it's not .com in my social media. <laughs> right. hey, no, we if got you, you. If you if you look for Jay Lane, you should, there is a drummer out there. That's not me, but you you <laughs> should be able to find it pretty easily just doing the Google search. But um, I'm on all of the social media as well. Okay, are are you are you That's pretty awesome, much man. caught up to date? Are you just taking all orders as they come? Are you just let them yeah, know I what mean, what time. Yeah, I mean, my turnaround time kind of depends on the project. I try to keep U of L stuff kind of flowing, um, but some of the custom stuff can take take six to eight weeks. It just kind of depends on the time of uh, you know time of year. But I work, I can work with people on timelines. Sometimes people need things for gifts or things like that, um, you know. And and I could be pretty flexible. Okay, well, Jay Lane, before I get you out of here, are you a tournament bracket guy yourself? Or you do you have do you know do you, you know being that Louisville's not in it? Do you have uh, a side I, piece or anything like that? No, I actually I haven't even saw. I haven't had it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get get into a bracket as soon as we get off here. I have I've been overwhelmed with working on projects and stuff. So um, I'm I'm excited to see some good games though. Well, Jay Lane, yeah, made appreciate by Jay that, Lane. These things appreciate are awesome, it. man. And, yeah, they're very cool. No, they're very yeah, cool. Yeah, we have until noon, everybody, and you can enter up to 10. ESPNLouisville.com bracket great. challenge. I mean, this is one of the coolest like prizes that's part of the mix and we have some great great stuff up there so no jay we really appreciate it man and i'm gonna be uh hollering at you down the road because i'm gonna get a mr met one for pops i gotta be oh a yeah let's do it we're, we're, let's do uh, it. listen we're gonna split one of these and we're gonna buy one of these for the studio yeah no the this studio, light, this <laughs> the all, studio dude, needs one this yeah. sweet these are sweet jay yeah. man pr appreciate you yeah. man Absolutely, guys. You all think you have a wonderful day. Yeah, yeah we'll definitely be talking to you yeah. soon. That was Jay Lane, made by Jay Lane. Uh, you can reach out. He says you go ahead. Yeah, at made by Jay Lane on Twitter, man.